So while the Finnish people are generally nice, friendly and pretty easygoing, there are a few things that will absolutely piss us off. So in this video I will share with you a few things that you should absolutely avoid doing while you're staying in Finland unless you want every single Finnish person to get absolutely enraged with you. What's up guys, it's Oliver here. So the biggest single crime that you can do against Finnish people is by making them wait for their turn in sauna. So if you're interested in Finland, I'm pretty sure that you have already heard about the Finnish sauna culture. However, what you might not have heard just yet is that pretty much every single Finnish apartment building has a shared sauna that you know the tenants can reserve for you know an hour or a couple of hours at a time once per week or a couple of times per month so because sauna in finland is seen as a luxury and uh, for the reason that the sauna turns are just a, an hour or two at a time you pretty much only get to enjoy the luxury of sauna you know a couple of times per month thus there is pretty much nothing as awful as a person who overextends their turn in sauna basically making the next people in line wait for their turn. So this pretty much means that if you are not out of the sauna and you know letting the next people into the waiting room at the hour, you are going to get some pretty nasty looks, if not a couple of very well chosen words from the next people in line. So if you're coming to Finland either for your work or for your studies or even for a holiday, just make sure not to piss Finnish people off by overextending your sauna turn. It's important. Anyways, talking about things that induce absolute rage in Finnish people, one thing that you should absolutely avoid doing in Finland is cutting in the line. So you might have already heard about the meme that Finnish people are really good at queuing and standing in line, but you should also know that this is actually true and there is an unspoken rule in Finland that one simply does not cut the line no matter who you are. You know, it doesn't matter if you're the richest person in the country or even the president of Finland, one simply doesn't cut the line without inviting the wrath of everyone else in the close vicinity. So what's actually really funny about this is that while we Finns do hate people who cut in line, we also do not want to get into a confrontation, which means that if you do cut the line, you will naturally get, you know, deep and dark looks from people cursing you to the deepest levels of hell where you naturally belong. Just kidding. But you know, we Finns do not usually say anything out loud, but you will still be, you know, getting really, really dark looks. So, you know, just follow the cultural rules that we have in Finland and, you know, stay in line like everyone else. Anyways, the third thing that I beg of you not to do is leaving your trash around for other people to collect. So what I mean here is not necessarily littering, which by the way in itself is already extremely heavily frowned upon, but what I actually mean is being a lazy and leaving your unused furniture or large waste outside next to the garbage bins in hopes that someone else will take care of them for you. So case in point, this is actually the storage room of our student apartment building and some decided that instead of getting rid of their old furniture and some other crap like you're supposed to, either by bringing them to a recycling center or by disposing them properly, they just decided that this is a good place to leave them for other people to collect. So first of all, you're actually not allowed to leave anything in public corridors due to fire safety reasons. And by the way, continuous behavior like this could actually be grounds for the landlord uh, kick you out out of your apartment. However, what makes this even more of a dick move is that now the landlord has to call in a service provider who will then pick up all of this stuff in a van and take them to the recycling center. Every single time this kind of stuff happens, the landlord has to pay for the service and that cost is then seen in the higher rent of everyone else in the building. So again, don't be lazy and increase the cost of living for everyone else and instead take personal responsibility and take care of your trash. By the way, the same goes to trash bags as well. So if the trash bins are full or if your building has these kind of trash pipes and the doors do not open for whatever reason, please do not leave your bags outside for someone else to deal with because this will 
attract birds and other wildlife that will then open the bags and mess up the entire yard. Seagulls and crows always do this when someone doesn't put their trash in the containers and then we have a mess. Once again, a reason for the landlord to call someone to clean your shit up, which in turn raises the living expenses for everyone else. By the way, this public service announcement is brought to you by HOAS. So HOAS, or the Foundation for Student Housing in the Helsinki region, is a non-profit and also the largest student housing provider in the Helsinki capital region. HOAS rents, builds and maintains over 10,000 student apartments just like this one in the Helsinki capital region and I've actually been living in their apartments pretty much all throughout my studies. The great thing about Hoa student apartments is that not only are they extremely affordable, but they're also really well located around the capital region, basically making commuting from home to any of the major university campuses really, really easy. Anyways, more information about Hoa and all of their student apartments through the links in the description box below. All right, so another thing that really gets Finnish people riled up is if you do not pick up after your dog. So as a fellow dog owner, please do not ruin the reputation of all dog owners by not being responsible and picking after your dog. So if you are a dog owner and you're coming to Finland, you should know that it is actually written in the Finnish law that you have to pick up after your dog if you are in a populated area or in any kind of maintained or built up area. So of course you might be thinking, you know, what's the harm if I leave my dog's poop on the street, you know, once or twice. But the problem becomes extremely, you know, apparent if there's multiple people doing this multiple times a day and during winter people leave their dog's poop in the snow and during spring, which we're actually getting into Finland right now, the poop starts to come out after snow in the streets starts to melt. So please, please don't think that, you know, covering your dog's poop with snow is a solution. If you do this, you will not only meet the wrath of pedestrians, but also of your fellow dog owners who are trying to be responsible and do things by the book. So another thing that you should really avoid doing in Finland is either crushing your metal beverage cans or removing the paper labels from your plastic beverage bottles. Let me actually show you what I mean. So I understand that this might sound really weird and you, you might be asking yourself, you know, why is anyone else caring what I do with my beverage cans and bottles? But there is actually really a good reason behind this. So first of all, we Finns like to recycle as much material as possible. But the second and the bigger reason is, is because you know, crushing your metal cans or removing the labels from your uh, beverage bottles is a literal waste of money. So this is actually because in Finland we have one of the best and most efficient beverage container recycling systems in all of Europe and you will actually be literally paid money for returning your metal cans or plastic bottles to any of the thousands of recycling centers that you can find in basically any grocery or convenience store in Finland. So the reason why you should not crush your cans or remove the labels from your plastic beverage bottles is because you will not be getting the pant or the payment for the container unless the machine is able to read the barcode in the container itself. So also to give you some concrete numbers on the money that you will get for recycling your old beverage containers you will get 15 cents per metal can 10 cents for each glass bottle 20 cents for each small half a liter plastic bottle and 40 cents for each one or one and a half liter plastic bottle. So now you probably understand that it's absolute waste of money if you throw out your cans or bottles into the waste bin. And this makes me super irritated, especially when students do this who usually need the money. So if you are, for example, organizing a housewarming party or any kind of an event at your place, or when you, for example, walk about in the street, please call collect all your cans and bottles and return them to the store because you will get a nice cash price every time you do this. Also, you should know that if you organize a party at your place and you have Finnish guests attending and you don't have a plastic bag or some kind of a container for all the bottles and cans, they will most likely tell you to please set out a plastic bag so that you can then collect the cans and bottles 
and actually get that cash price for yourself. Anyways, next up, I recommend that you check out this video where I go through five important things that you need to know about Finnish people before you move to Finland. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.